Hi everyone, I'm Vedran Kasselica and I'm a research software engineer at the Netherlands eScience Center and I'm excited to present to you Workflomix, a web platform used for generating and benchmarking bioinformatics workflows. And this is work done in collaboration with the Leiden University Medical Center and University of Potsdam. In bioinformatics, we have readily available semantic domain models, such as EDAM ontology and bio.tools. And the idea behind Workflomix is to allow researchers to compose workflows without having to be familiar with concrete tools in the domain by relying on these semantic domain models. In addition, we could also help experienced researchers to explore new ways of processing data that they have. In order to accomplish that, we rely on automated workflow composition. And the idea behind it is that once the user provides inputs that they have and the outputs that they desire, we can use these semantically annotated operations to transform the provided input into the desired output. However, we know that often the same data can be processed in multiple ways, which means that these candidate workflows are not unique. In our example, we have at least two workflows that can process the given input into the desired output. The next question is, how do we choose the most suitable workflows to solve our problem? There are many ways we could compare these candidate workflows. For example, we could check the compatibility of the tools in the candidate workflows as well as their executability. We could check the quality of the outputs that are provided at the end of execution. We could compare them according to their size. We could assess the quality of the tools that comprise the workflow by comparing the citations or licenses of each of the tools. And sometimes while generating workflows, we are looking for unique ways of solving a particular problem. All of these qualify as benchmarks and we distinguish design time and runtime benchmarks, where design time are those available to us at the time of creation or design of a workflow, while the runtime benchmarks require their execution to be evaluated. Now I will give you an example of how Workflowmix platform could be used. We will start by generating workflows to process our data and we choose the proteomics domain for our example. The first step in describing our problem is specifying the inputs and the outputs that we have. We rely on EDAM ontology to describe the data types and formats. So in our example, we have two files as workflow inputs. One is a mass spectrum in MZML format, and the other one is a protein sequence in FASTA format. And as an output, we expect any data type as long as it is in PROT.XML format. In addition, the user can specify constraints to guide this automated creation of workflows. In our example, we would like the workflows to perform some type of analysis and target decoy. All the specified constraints are annotated according to the EDAM operations and the corresponding bio.tools annotations. And as we know, in bio.tools, each tool is annotated with a set of inputs that specify types and formats for each of them and a set of outputs, where each is specified again according to the EDAM terminology. Once we have specified our problem, we can set the size of the expected workflows, the timeout that we are willing to wait, and the number of solutions that we want to compose. And we use the automated pipeline explorer to perform automated composition and to generate the candidate workflows. At this stage, we will visualize various workflows that transform the given workflow inputs into the desired workflow outputs. And each of them we call a candidate workflow. And apart from having this visualization that you can see at the moment, we also provide design time benchmarks for each of them. And design time benchmarks provide information about the candidate workflows, about their length, compatibility with different operating systems, licenses of the tools that comprise the workflow, and citations of all the tools that comprise the workflows as well. All of these are retrieved using the Bio Tools and Open eBench APIs, and their aim is to help the users to identify good quality candidate workflows. And once they have done that, they can download those workflows locally. 
All of the workloads are provided in CWL format and are accompanied with the input YAML file that links to the benchmarking data. Once the user downloads the files locally, they would get a CWL file per workflow. And each of these would consist of a header, list of inputs, list of steps, where each step corresponds to a tool visualized earlier as part of a workflow, and the list of outputs. If we look closely at the first step of this workflow, it's a tool named Comet, and in order to run it, we reference a CWL file provided on GitHub. So, as part of the domain annotations, we do provide CWL descriptions of all the tools that can be then used to run the whole workflow locally by fetching the referenced Docker images. In addition, the input YAML files currently link to benchmarking data available on GitHub, which means that the whole CWL workflow is readily available to be executed. The local benchmarking of these workflows is quite straightforward. The users could use the Chromix Benchmarker, which is a command line tool that includes CWL tool to run their workflows locally. They can execute all the candidate workflows that they have downloaded in one go. And the Benchmarker tool would extract all the metadata about a run in a JSON file that can later be uploaded to the Workflowmix web interface to be visualized. And this is the interface where those runtime benchmarks can be uploaded. And as you can see, we can visualize whether the workflows were executed successfully, what was the execution time, the memory usage, the number of warnings and errors. And each of these is retrieved from the CWL tool execution. The information can also be visualized on the tool level by expanding each of the workflows. And this allows users to investigate further the candidate workflows and have a better idea and understanding of the memory and, and in general resource consumptions of individual tools that comprise it. At this point, we have seen both the design time and runtime benchmarks, and it is safe to assume that the candidate workflows two and three are the best suited to process our data, considering that they both succeed in execution on the benchmark data and the resource consumption is not that high. And the user could now download either one or both CWL files and use them to process their data locally. And now I will use the Workflowmix architecture to summarize its features. Given a specific data processing problem, a bioinformatician could use the Workflowmix web interface to generate multiple candidate workflows to solve the problem. And this is accomplished by relying on the RESTful API to communicate with the Ape library. And once the candidate workflows have been generated, we provide various benchmarks to aid the user in choosing the best workflows for their needs. The first benchmarking is done at the design time and relies on information available from Bido Tools and Open eBench. The second benchmarking step is done during the execution of the workflows, therefore it's called the runtime benchmark, and it's usually done by the users locally. To perform the runtime benchmarking, the users can simply execute the Workflowmix benchmarker as a command line tool that is already shipping with the CWL tool included. And to minimize changes needed to the workflows in CWL, we use CWL tool descriptions on GitHub as references for execution that rely on Docker or Singularity images. And similarly, we reference benchmarking data on GitHub as inputs to the workflow to ensure fast execution of the benchmarks. Finally, I would encourage you to try out the platform. It's readily available on GitHub under Apache 2.0. And if you would like to use Workflowmix or contribute to it, Please don't hesitate to contact us, we'll be happy to help. Thank you for your attention.